has to be nice to not really have a lot of time to stew and just kind of get back out on to the ice and right uh, wrong kind of yeah we knew we had a really good sense of the ice conditions and uh, we were really starting to trust what we were seeing and believe what we were seeing and if we can continue to do that we would be in good shape and uh, we thought we played well this afternoon and that's something to take forward what about uh, the game tonight I mean I, was there anything that you felt that was kind of continuing in the things that you were seeing out there on the ice Caitlin's just reading the sheet really well um, she's putting the broom in the right spot for us and if we throw the right weight then we're usually really close and um, just calling a great game and making sure that we have opportunities to score without you know ever being in a lot of trouble and I think she's just doing a great job with that Can you describe what it's like to be back at this event and getting this opportunity with this team here I'm very grateful that uh, I'm here. I wasn't sure if I would play at another Scotty's anytime soon, and uh, the crowd here has been a lot of fun. Um, these are four or five of the best girls that I've um, ever played with. I'm really happy to be here, and I'm having a lot of fun, and I'm learning a lot from them, too. They're also great at what they do. Has uh, this week kind of piqued your interest to maybe return to the four-person game sooner than later? What do you think? I'm pretty happy right now. I would say I'm really happy with what I'm doing. I've had a lot of fun with my season. Um, I wouldn't count out kind of this sort of fifth player role um, down the road, but um, I like where I'm at. How's the mixed ups going? It's good. We've had a really good season. We've made finals in over half of the events we've played in, so it's tough to com complain about that, and uh, hopefully we can do it one more time in March. Uh, Krista, how does it feel to battle that hard to <laughs> clinch first place in your Oh, well, I mean, the win felt great. <laughs> My draw weight didn't feel the greatest, but, you know, sometimes I just said to the girls, like, sometimes you need a little bit of luck in curling, and sometimes you need things to go your way, and that was one of them that we used that we needed, and it, you know, we haven't had to use those yet, like this tournament, so we got our luck there. How beneficial is that top spot? Oh, it's huge. Being number one, you get that jump to, you know, that one less game, the less pressure of, like, the do or die. Um, you know, that, that two versus three game is you lose, you're out. So, you know, getting the number one spot was huge. Can you compare your level of play from last year in Thunder Bay to how you're performing here at Campus? You know what? Honestly, last year we had some struggles in the middle of games. We picked it up, you know, going into the playoffs, we did pick it up and all that, but I feel like just um, this week we've just been way more consistent. And I think that coming into the week, that's what we wanted. We wanted to be more consistent because last year we were a little bit of up and down, you know, more up th towards the end of the week, but still up and down and, and we're more consistent this year and that's a good thing. What do you attribute to that consistency? Um, I don't know exactly. I mean, I've said this a lot. Like, we've been working on a few things. We've been working on, you know, lots of draws, lots of hit weights, um, releases, um, tons of different things, like some mental um, strengths and doing things like that off the ice. You know, we've been trying to tweak things a little bit here and there just to improve and because we work really hard practicing. And the only thing we couldn't do was play a ton more. And that's one thing that we can't do. So trying to do everything that we can, you know, minus that. So when it was that kind of like a survival game that you had to win to stay alive? Yeah, absolutely. I think our one this morning was probably a little bit bigger in that regard to secure ourselves a little bit better because I think mathematically it's difficult right now, um, to say the least. But, yeah, we absolutely needed that one. So how do you describe that game? Um, a little bit back and forth. I mean, we know that Joanne has been playing a phenomenal all week, so we knew that she was probably going to do that today, and she definitely did. Um, so we were just hoping to keep it close and then hope we had a shot to win, and luckily we did. So what's going through your mind knowing that that's it's a slim angle double there to make to get your three points? What are you thinking of? Um, let's just make this for fun. <laughs> it's kind of what I thought. Yeah. Um, let's, uh, it hasn't really been our week here, so that's been unfortunate. But um, we're just trying to, you know, play for pride now and make some good shots. And I think we did that today. <laughs> Kelly, how are you feeling? Your, you just said your heart rate is slowly coming down. That was, yes. that was quite an intense game. Yeah, it was uh, very stressful. We started out really good and we kind of just felt really confident. And then I started throwing some, some draws back button, back four, and <laughs> uh, definitely put the pressure on my back end. But they held it together and I'm so thankful they did. Uh, yeah, but once I figured out draw weight again, then we were good to go, and Lori made a great one at the end to just kind of seal the deal, and it was a fantastic win. That says a lot about a team, though, that 
you're able to pick up the team members when you're not having a strong game. I mean, that's the strongest showing of a strong team. Oh, yes. Yeah, 100%. We've just all got each other's back, both on and off the ice, and I think it really comes through when we need it. How would you describe this season for you? Um, we've definitely peaked at the right time, I'll say that. Um, we had a bit of a slow season, but Provincials and now here, we've been playing our top games, and that's really all you can ask for. How did it come about you joining this team? Um, I was going to Pembroke in Ontario for school, and that was closer to Montreal than it was any of the Toronto teams and any of my other past teammates. So I sent Lori a DM on Instagram, and the rest is history. I slid into her DM. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> um, for yourself, you're here, and I know like your parents are very proud of you, obviously. What's that been like seeing your dad in the stands after a win like that? It's awesome. He always has like a little joke to crack and sometimes it's more criticism, but that's all I can ask for. And I'm just so thrilled that they're here and I couldn't ask for anything more. He looks a little funny in the baby blue. Book. I know, yeah. Him and Glenn, they just kind of seem like they're in the wrong colors a little bit, but I'm okay with it this week. <laughs> what do you hope to get out of this week the rest of the way? Um, hopefully one more win and hopefully we make playoffs and then just keep winning. I, we can always just ask for one more win and we'll keep just asking for one more win until it doesn't work anymore. <laughs>